Hi everyone, Stock Mo here. Today I got something special for you. I got the best EV stocks to buy now, and you're gonna like this because I just opened up a brand new portfolio and I put quite a bit of money into these stocks, which I'm gonna share with you. I don't usually, I usually save this for the Patreon. Check that down below in the link if you wanna see. I have like three other portfolios with lots of stocks, but I wanted to do something special in, in, in just celebration of the 100,000 subscribers that we have here at the channel, and that's what I wanna do. So I'm gonna show you these stocks, I'm gonna go over them, and then I'm gonna show you the portfolio, which I think you're gonna get a kick out of and see where I'm putting my money. Stick around, I think you're gonna like this. For those new to the channel, I am Stock Mo. I'm an old stockbroker who now just comes on YouTube and I teach high school and college level classes and I share my investments with the world, hoping to actually give back a little bit and to help. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please check out my channel video, which is Meet Stock Mo, and I think you'll understand why I do what I do. And uh, I do appreciate everybody. I want to start by saying thank you. 100,000 subscribers, that's awesome. I get that silver play button. I know the kids at school are going to love it. And it's a great day. We had a great day to do it too because the market went through the roof yesterday. Now today, like I said in the earlier video, I do expect a, a pullback, but that gave me an, a buying opportunity. And I actually decided to do a major change and, and start a new portfolio. I had a lot of money on the sideline as well, and I'm investing some of that, and you're gonna see that today. So please take a look at the Patreon link down below if you wanna see the stocks I'm investing in. Support the channel, go over and check it out. We have over 2,600 people in the Discord. It's one of the best investing Discords out there, as well as in the portfolios. Also, I have the Weeble link down below. You get three free stocks just for signing up, and I think they have a new special on there. When you click it, you'll see it. I think it's even more, I'm not even sure. but I I think it's just three stocks at this point. You put a hundred bucks in, I get one free stock because I'm an affiliate. You can't beat it, it's like free money. It's like Scott scratching a lottery ticket and you're already won. So I'd say check that out. Now let's get into today's action. I have some awesome opportunities here that I thought, you know, I've been studying these, I know where they're going. I see the big hedge funds starting to get it. I see pension funds. I know the New Jersey Income Pension Fund got in on NEO. So there's some moves being made. And this is because we all see the same thing. In the next three to five years, China is going to be huge when it comes to the EV market as well as the United States. Now we know that most likely Biden is going to be the next president and he is all about the EV market. I've said this before in other videos that he wants to have 500,000 chargers in the United States within by 2030 and then he also wants to have unlimited tax credits for people buying EV cars because I think right now we have it limited to 250,000 under Trump, and I think he wants to get rid of that limit and make it, everybody that buys an EV can take a tax credit on their taxes. So that is huge, and where I see, I can get some advantage both in the United States and China, and that leads us up to our first stock, NEO. So what I'm gonna do is show you my portfolio at the end, and you can see exactly what I invested into these stocks. You can see how much I put into them, how I broke them up. But first, let's just go through each one. I just wanna kind of show this. Everybody knows my videos on NEO. When it comes to the best EV stocks to buy now, these are what I'm talking about. And NEO is one of the just biggest movers right now. To me, honestly, Tesla is still the number one best stock to buy now has to be Tesla just because of how big I see them being. And you're gonna see in my portfolio, I also have them as one of my largest ones. But the second largest holding, or I should say actually between Tesla and Neo, I think I have Neo a little bit ahead of Tesla for how much money I put in it to start. But you'll see all that at the end. But right now I do have Neo in there because it's Neo. I, I've heard so many good things. I'm getting a lot of stories, a lot of articles, a lot of research coming in that's saying that Neo is going to be a monster in the next five years, and I definitely want to be a part of this. This is one of them feel good stories. This company is going from the brink of a dollar a share all the way up to $41 a share. Today had that pullback, which you got to expect after. Look at this green. Look at this. You can see it over the last three days. This is this was 11.3. 11.4, 11.5, 11.6, and then today we have 2% pullback. <clears throat> if that's all the pullback we get, I'm fine with it, but I did take it as an opportunity to add some shares into this new portfolio I just started. Now, the next stock I have into this is Lee. Lee is a lot more risky in my mind, but I also feel good because their numbers came out and they were very positive. So I added Lee in, and as you can see, very similar except for on the fourth, it dropped a little bit, big push up the fifth, and obviously on the sixth, we have the red down about six and a half, seven percent. I took this as a buying opportunity once again, and I added Lee because I'm, 
Oh my God. And there comes a cat walking right across my laptop and he's being a good boy. So I don't, oh, and he's opening up the music thing. This is what I deal with on a daily, I'm gonna leave this in here so you can see the, the trials and tribulations I go through with Tesla Cat when I'm talking about other stocks besides Tesla. He's not happy with it, but that's all right, we'll get to it. So you can see where it's at. It had a nice little pullback here. I wanted to jump on this, take advantage of that, that six to 7% drop. I always like to buy on red days if it's possible. I don't, I don't usually like to buy on days where it's green because there's a lot of that. Everybody's jumping in there and there's always a, the, the big investors always reevaluate after a big run up and they, they see, uh, they sell some of their shares of lock in that profit. And yeah, they do have it drop a little bit and then they'll buy back in. I am usually, I don't have that kind of uh, capital to be able to do what they do. What I like to do is buy through the reds and just let it ride. Cause if I'm buying something long-term, a lot of you are buying and selling daily, weekly, monthly, I'm actually trying to take, I'm trying to get that long-term capital gains tax in case you're wondering. So I am trying to hold these positions for at least a year, no buying or no selling. The only ones I would sell under a year are the ones that are losses because anything I get a loss on, I can write off. And so come the end of December, I always have a decision to make for any stocks that are actual losers for me that I could take a loss and get a little bit of a tax break for those. But the ones that are gainers, I like to keep for at least the year because the long-term capital gains tax on that is only 15% max. And I know that could change. I'm not an accountant. If that's changed, forgive me, put it in the comments and I'll, I'll fix it for the next one. But that's what I'm trying to do is take advantage of that long-term capital gains tax. And with these stocks, I'm hoping these stocks run and run and run. And I want to keep them because I want to make sure my portfolio has a good chance of growing in a new industry. And yeah, I, this is going to be a, a clean energy, uh, an EV portfolio. I'm only going to go that route with this one. I'm not going to be putting in like uh, Apple or, or you know, Walmart or something like that. I want to keep this one high, high risk. There's going to be a lot of merging. So when you're seeing this, and I'm going to have this over at the Patreon, this is just kind of a show YouTube what's going on today, but I'm going to have this portfolio over in the Patreon for those who want to follow along and see how well it does. I can tell you right now, I plan on holding these stocks unless there is a massive drop and I can get a tax loss in December. I plan on holding this for at least a full year. It kind of times it perfect because Next December, I can get a nice, I can get that long-term capital gains tax, hopefully. So as we move on, we have Xpeng, which is XPEV, and this is another one of them. You can see the massive, scares me to get into a stock after this big push like this. This is a really big push, but uh, I feel good about this one as well. And I took a position, which you'll be able to see, this is down to 34.15 right now, down about 5%. That gave me a chance once again to enter this position and I wanted to pick what I thought would be some of the leaders coming out of China in the EV industry. Yes, I do know there's other companies out there. I know there's BMW going in there. I know Ford's doing their magic with what they wanna do. What I wanted to do is stick with some Chinese companies that are making the EVs and because I know their manufacturing setup, they have the government backing them because they want their homegrown companies to do well. And so I wanted to take advantage of that, but I also will be adding in some other companies from around the world as I see them being more competitive and giving us an opportunity to make some money. And once again, remember before I, sh well, we'll get into the rest here, but the, the next one of course is Tesla. I have a huge position in Tesla because I do feel that this stock is going to be very, very good going forward. And I like to put my money where my mouth is. I am a huge Tesla fan. And I do believe that Tesla will continue to dominate the EV market as well as the energy market, the battery market, the insurance market very soon, as well as other markets, the self-driving. There is so much that they're going to dominate. And I wanna be a part of that. And I wanted to make sure that I was well positioned, which I do feel I am. And yeah, it's a little stagnant right now, but I've shown some price charts through the, through the years of, hey, you know, look at it, it stayed stale for like 12 months and all of a sudden, boom, you're doubling in the next three. So I'm, I'm in this stock for the long term. I don't see me getting out, even if it drops 10%, I'll stay in it. I'm not getting out. I usually have a 10% rule for those who file this know that if a stock drops at like 10% below the market, whatever the market's at, I usually get out. This is not gonna be one of these uh, uh, cases. If anything, I'll just add more. This is a long-term long -term portfolio. So anybody watching this thinking, boy, he's putting these stocks in, I am. And then obviously the last stock, you can see the list over here. They're all red on purpose, because that's when I buy. I like to buy during the red when other people are afraid they're dropping and selling. 
I'm buying them because I know they're gonna come back because I feel good about it. I know the industry, it's going to look good. So we got into BYDDF, yes, I know Warren Buffett is a big fan of this one. This is one I have not bought yet, but I am planning on buying as soon as the funds clear and I can buy it, but it wouldn't let me do it today. So I have to wait until next week, but I'm giving you a little bonus here. I'm, I'm jumping on this. I'm gonna, fo I'm, uh, I'm gonna follow old uh, Warren Buffett's coattails on this one because I actually have, uh, have this in my charity fund at the Patreon and it is doing excellent. And I made a lot of money with this one as well, so I'm feeling good about that. But I haven't had this in my own personal fund, which is one that I am doing now. So there's your five. I'm gonna show you. Here's my, here's my chart right now of how we're doing for the day. And you can see that I have put in approximately, oh, almost 30,000. So we did this a little bit ago. And of course, you can see how they are right now with the 25, 8, 18, and Neo is the one that's really costing us right now, but it's not really costing us because it's only, it's only down 138. So we're down about, for putting 30 grand in there, uh, about 0.3%, and I'm okay with that because when you get into this on a bad day, you got to know that the stocks are going to be volatile, and that is what we're dealing with. But going along, going forward, I feel good about this. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out, like, like I said, I'll go into each one of these more like an individual video in each one of these stocks going forward over the next week because I do want to point out why I'm getting into them, what I liked about them, which was good enough for me to buy them, and we'll go from there. Now, they are very, they're, they're close to what the market does. And of course, over the last month when the market dropped, they, you know, some of these were up a lot. So I don't want to say they are tied to the market, but when the market's big time green, I'm noticing these stocks are even more green. So I do see some big things coming out in the next few days. And I do think over the next three weeks, you're gonna have vaccine results. And I think that's gonna push the market up. I also think the stimulus package will be passed in the next eight weeks. And that'll put big, be a big push up. And I think the presidency will eventually, right now it's a negative, And I think that's one of the reasons we're dealing with some of this red, as well as just a normal sell-off after four straight days of being up. But I see that presidency being solved. And I think the EV market will take big advantage of that with the policies that I see this next administration coming out with. Hopefully this all makes sense. And uh, you know, now you got to you got to see where I'm throwing my money. And this is just one of, oh, I have a lot of portfolios out there. Then one of the next portfolios I'm gonna make though is my IRA portfolio. I do my yearly, this is gonna be a yearly thing for me. I do it in December. For those who are curious where I'm putting my, I load up in December and max out my portfolio and uh, Mrs. Moe's portfolio with the IRA, that I, I do go into a Roth IRA because I do believe the taxes will be higher down the road. So I do max out Roth IRAs first because they, to me, they're the best way to invest because all this money we're borrowing, someday is gonna have to be paid back. And what, one way to pay it back is in higher taxes in the future. And that's something I see happening. So I do wanna max out Roth IRAs. And uh, once again, just so everybody knows, this video has been for entertainment only. Anything you see me doing in here, even though it's real money, and it's my money, and I do want to make a lot, has to be for entertainment only. And I will have probably 10 to 20 uh, stocks in here within the next 30 days, and then I'll have it up to 20 to 40 within the next 90 days, like a good portfolio should. And that is how I set up my portfolios. I appreciate everybody stopping by. Hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna get to 200,000. And I would like to go live on Sunday. I'm thinking I'm thinking one o'clock Eastern at this point. I'm gonna try to have a live broadcast. I'm gonna talk about EV stocks and answer some questions out there. So if you're somebody who wants to see the station, you wanna see, just give me, a, you wanna to talk to me. And this is your opportunity. I never did one before. Right now I'm trying to get the camera set up so it looks like this but I had this capture card and some other stuff I ordered from Amazon will be here tomorrow. So I might be doing a little test thing to see if I can get that to work. And then on Sunday's the big day, one o'clock Eastern. I think that gives everybody out West, you can wake up and be on there by 10 o'clock and that's a, that'll be Sunday. To say thank you to everybody for getting to 100K. I'm really enjoying this trip, this is awesome. Uh, the Patreon's growing, the YouTube channel's growing. You know, and I don't even, I, I, I now say videos and not movies when I make these. So I'm, I might be old, but I'm getting a little better. So thanks for stopping around. You know what? Let's get out there and make some money.